my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so do you sometimes wonder why people talk about consistency why is it so important to be consistent when you're producing content online when you're trying to build a business online where you're why is it why is consistency something that is so important I'm going to show you something in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so yeah so why is consistency so important if you've been trying to build a business online you've been trying to grow your business you're trying to get leads you're trying to get sales you're trying to do all these different things online you work so hard you learn these things you do these things and then you're like oh there is no results it's not happening or I'm not making you know a million or whatever it is you're trying to do and you're just like gonna you just feel like giving up right it's it doesn't seem to be giving you the results you want I know that I've been there but why is consistency so important so one of the main reasons one of the main reasons well there's a couple of reasons first of all human nature is all about being seen seeing something repeatedly before you start to feel you know warmed up to it right so if you're not consistent well your audience your target market they're not going to see your stuff so if you're trying to generate income from a digital course well they have to see that course they have to see the content they have to see it regularly before they even want to look at it before they even want to consider maybe even buying it right so when we're talking about course income secrets I mean that's the first step is okay sure you got to create a course you got to have content you got to have valuable it's got to be valuable you got to have a good way of teaching it you have to have you know maybe an influence in there you have things like I've done right I've done these courses I've done these things but I'm not really getting the results right now because I haven't been consistent recently and how does that translate into your into social media right social media let me just show you here Facebook for example if we look at Facebook uh this one yes so this is Facebook I don't know if you've seen the black desktop but anyways as you can see if I go to my profile right if I just click on my name right here right and I go to my profile and I look through the the posts I've done you can see that I'm getting just you know three people like this on this one I got okay 30 comments maybe that's good but that's because it's a 3d picture probably this is just a share from a video I did a while ago and I have no I just have one comment here and this this one here I did a post uh some did trampoline I not trampoline but a, a you know, swing set that I put together just a, a uh, and I got just five comments I put a picture of a sandwich here I only got seven comments you know that's not a lot like if I look at somebody like for example who's who's one of my well actually let's go to my to the home and let's go look at some of the people that are getting lots of engagement right some people that are, have a lot of engagement on their page like for example Jill, Elena right she's pretty consistent right if you look at these things she's got 10 comments on something she posted just an hour ago she has this one this one here where she got 53 comments on the video she did right she has uh well that one just has one comment but this one has 11 comments she's got uh, 135 views 36 comments on this video and that's the thing right she's consistent she's been consistent I mean Julia Baxter as well is another one of my uh friends that I follow that consistent six comments you know uh six comments here uh eight uh, maybe she's not she's not she is consistent but she's maybe not as uh but anyways the point is that when you are not consistent it's gonna it's gonna show in your social media it's gonna show in different things that you do everything you do online is going to be affected by the consistency of these things right whether you're consistent or not I'm sorry I was just looking at my screen there but that's the thing right being consistent is what it's all about so and like I said okay let's go back to what is the real reason why do human beings need consistency to actually you know for you to make sales for you to get leads for you to get customers and all that why do you have to be consistent right so if you think about advertising if you think about companies like coke and 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 Nike and you know those big brands that you know why do you know those brands 
you're because they've been consistent in advertising their brands every time you watch a tv show every time you you go someplace you're going to see these brands right you're going to see them all the time in your life in your daily life in advertising on tv and in the, the probably in radio everywhere right you're going to see those ads they're going to be uh, they're going to sponsor events so that those names show up whenever you look at the sports events or things like that local events even in your community all those things right that's because they're being consistent in your mind you see them regularly right so that makes it that you get affected by that you get affected by seeing all this right so that's so why does that matter right well because that's how we are um so if I think think about for example uh, uh Eric Worre if you've heard of Eric Worre he's if you haven't heard of him he's the author of a book called GoPro he also does the network marketing network marketing training and he's very well known in the home business area right and he talks about the seven exposures you need to get somebody to look at something or maybe make a sale so seven exposures that's an average average but what that means is that the person before they consider maybe getting something from you they're going to need to be exposed seven times to your to your thing to your offer to your product to your service to you even and when you're trying to build a business online when you're trying to do a course or something like that you need to be selling yourself or the course if you sell just the course that's it's possible but I don't recommend that because you know what if you want to do another course another course another course it's going to be redo all over right but if you're promoting yourself instead as a personal brand and you just happen to have that course it makes it easier to go to the next course and next course right because your audience that's going to start to love you is going to want whatever you have so that's anyways a recommendation but the consistency is all about having something in front of your audience regularly so that they start to get to know you like you and trust you that's one of the things that they teach in a personal brand and attraction marketing you have to get people to know to know you so that they get to like you so that they eventually trust you so that they eventually buy from you and the way that happens is through consistency if you post once in a week and then you post every day for a week and then you post one month later whatever all that dilutes the ability for somebody to look at you as somebody who's consistent because consistency has a huge value in people's perceptions of your ability to help them if you're not consistent they think that you're not going to be consistent in helping them you're not going to you're not consistent in your results they all that is all connected right so consistency is super super important and I know I haven't been consistent over the last little while but that's something that I'm I've always worked on and it depends on right now with COVID-19 the coronavirus and all that everything's different our lives are different we do we do different things it affects everything and those that have stayed consistent throughout that will do better than those who like me have a bit of an adjustment to make because of the family life because of the work from home at my day job all that affects my ability to be consistent but today is the last day of my lack of consistency so I'm going to be going back to doing the course income secrets and we're going to be doing that and you're going to be able to see what I mean by being consistent <laughs> when I talk about being consistent I'm talking about you know posting regularly having a schedule having a having content that that is connected uh having uh, my post on on social medias on my on my blog on my youtube channel on my uh, facebook uh, linkedin on my even on the soundcloud i'm going to start to work on that I'm going to be posting episodes audios of episodes and at the same time of course the thing is that i've got lots of things going on right i got my my family i got the uh, i got just like anybody who's got a family it's not easy to 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 build something online because you still have your day job you still have to make some income you still have to do all that plus you have to you know be there for your family do all these things you can't just like you know if you're single it's a lot easier right I'm not using that as an excuse I'm just saying that it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do and you have to learn to adjust you have to be able to do it and you know don't feel bad don't feel bad that you don't have enough time or you have less time than the other person don't compare yourself to others there's so much that you can do and let me just get the screen out of there let me just go back to the webcam 
but that's the thing right you have to realize that whatever it is that you have whatever time you have whatever your schedule is like you just got to figure it out if you don't figure it out nobody's going to figure it out for you right and I'm telling you right now that my my schedule is is a little bit messed up because of the fact that I used to live in Montreal and work for Montreal and then my family was here so I would see them only every every couple months and there's some negatives to that but the positives is schedule wise it was easier but at the same time it makes it hard for a family to live like that obviously right it's not an easy thing it's awesome that I'm here now but that's also not going to last right the the coronavirus isn't that going to be forever right that's going to go back to normal at some point maybe not the same normal we all talk about that but the thing is that it's still going to be to a point at some point where we're either I make a million dollars and like I can stay home I don't have to have a day job which is awesome which is what I'm hoping for or until then I have to have a day job and then the day job probably in my situation it's really hard to get a day job that I can work remotely even though with the coronavirus it's kind of the the norm now but it's not the typical thing in in the kind of work that I do right I have to be in a in a place where I can interact with my with everybody else and anyways whatever that's not important that's just my situation maybe your situation is like that too right where you feel like you have to you know you you can't you can't be with your family all the time you got to go you got a job that you got to go to all the time there's there's distance and that maybe you have extra time that you can work on something because you're and for me the extra time is all about working towards getting back home and not having that situation right it's getting rid of that situation right and that's that's my that's my thing that's what I want to do that's what I where I want to go maybe that's your situation too but going back to consistency consistency is doing the same thing yeah let's just define it right what is consistency consistency is doing the same thing on a regular basis over a long period of time now what how do you you know how do you clarify those that those are really your decision you know over a long period of time could be a week could be a month could be a year could be 10 years could be 100 years depending on what it is you're talking about for example um you know being consistent with your eating habits could be over a month right where every single day you just eat you don't eat chips or whatever or you have a a, a day during the week that's your your junk day or whatever but you're consistent with that over you know at least a month maybe two months maybe a year right in the case of producing content like what I'm doing right now being consistent could be producing a piece of content every single weekday which is what I've done for five years almost now every single weekday I would produce something and I would post it on, on YouTube Facebook Instagram LinkedIn all those places and uh, then then I would then I would not do it on the weekends but that's being consistent is doing that regularly right now could I be even more consistent probably right I could have it at a specific day uh, sorry a specific time during the day right or or maybe I can't do it every day and I do it twice a week every Tuesday and Friday for example or every Monday and Wednesday or something right twice a week or three times a week or whatever it is whatever you can do but the important thing is that consistency has to do with people being able to know what to expect right they need to know that they can expect that you're going to have a new piece of content that you're going to be able to help them or something they're struggling with maybe right maybe they have maybe they're not they're not clear as to how to do a certain thing right I mean I've done lots of things and I can teach a lot of things and trying to get all that out in one video obviously or one audio or one one episode is not possible it's so I have to come out with different things to help somebody if you if you for example are are just you know learning about my channel maybe you're listening to this and you're like okay well what's next well next is next is next is next is next and hopefully everything that I produce is going to be something that you're going to enjoy that you're going to learn from that you're going to improve your results and I would love to hear from you by the way just please let me know what results you're getting from the help I'm, I'm giving you right now hopefully I'm helping you hopefully I'm clarifying for you right now what consistency means and maybe you've been struggling with it maybe you've been thinking consistent you have to produce a lot of content maybe you're thinking you have to you have to produce um 
on all the platforms you're in all these different things you know there's lots of different ways to do things and consistency is probably the most one of the most important things and we're going to talk about it, uh, the other things in the next episode but for now yeah consistency be consistent be consistent with your activities right be consistent with your activities that helps in your life I mean for for us for example with the girls we're consistent with you know what time is supper we're consistent with having a bath every night we're consistent with the time that they go to bed what we do before the, when when we, when they go to bed right we're consistent with when they get up they got to do this this and this and what time they have breakfast and all these things these things have an impact on people around you they have an impact on you your you know stress levels they have an impact on the people that are around because they know what to expect and if you have children it definitely helps because they know what to expect they know that if they if they ask for sweets in the middle of the day that you're going to say no because you're consistent with that you've always said no during the day right <clears throat> so stuff like that so that's consistency consistency again is doing something on a regular basis for a long time right that's consistency all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.